We're in Proverbs 11, 16, and the title of today's message is Richly Poor or Honorable? A graceful woman is respected, but a woman without virtue is a disgrace. Lazy people will never have money, but aggressive people will get rich. You're watching Ghetto Bible Study, a dope way to read the Bible. I'm your host, Proverbs 31 Mom. And today we talk about two totally different things, <laughs> men and women. And I guess what women want versus what men want, because money is his God. He also loses the best gifts that you can get on earth, which is love. Don't nobody love a hater. Proverbs 31. No! <laughs> so, let's start with the woman. The woman that they describe here is a graceful one. And she, she carries herself well. And she's respected because of that. People honor her. Not just her children, but people in the hood, in the neighborhood, in the markets. People honor her because of the way that she carries herself. And that should be important to us women. We should want that in life, right? To be honored and according to the scripture, it seems like a woman should cherish that more than chasing money or climbing some type of corporate ladder by any means necessary or by sacrificing your family. Not saying that all women do that, but we're reading the Bible to learn and to grow. So a graceful woman here is an honorable one who sacrifices herself for others. And if I had to pull out a graceful woman in a Bible, I would pick Ruth because she didn't complain during her season of she was struggling and she didn't complain when it happened. I mean, she lost her husband. She didn't have nobody. She left her home and she's picking the fields just to eat and to survive and to feed her mother-in-law. And she did not complain one bit. And I believe that's why she was honored one with a new rich, wealthy husband by the name of Boaz. And two, she was honored for generations because her, I think it's her great grandson, just so happened to be the king, David. So as women, we need to remember women like this and try to be more graceful, try to be more kind hearted so that we can receive honor in every way from people as well as from God. Now, this man is out here just ruthless and chasing money. I believe what it doesn't point out is what happens to people like that who only care about the money. They don't care about stabbing you in the back. They don't care about throwing you under the bus. They just care about the money. And yeah, they do wind up rich, wealthy. And in the world, we see people like that as, oh, they're successful, they're blessed, they're happy. They are not. A ruthless man, he get the money, but what does he lose? If money is his God, he's losing. Okay, so... Like Ruth, when she struggled for a season, she gained an eternity with God and on earth the rest of her life was really great, right? Because she sacrificed and struggled for a season. Whereas you got this ruthless man that's by any means necessary doing shisey stuff for a season and he's rich on earth for a season, but he loses everything because he loses his eternity because money is his God. And he also loses the best gifts that you can get on earth, which is love. Don't nobody love a hater. Don't nobody love someone that stabs you in the back. Don't nobody love a disrespectful, ruthless person that hurts you in order to get ahead. So, them dollars, I mean, it might keep you warm at night, but it don't warm your heart. You missing out. 
completely on the true riches of life on earth as it is in heaven. On earth, living good, and then in the next life, living the best. And you sacrifice that because you chasing the money. So that's what this scripture is about is for men, it's for women, and it's to show us who God created us to be. The best form of us can be graceful as a woman and honorable and loving as a man and respectful. All right, everybody. If you like what you heard, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep it alive. Now that's what's up.